Hello and welcome back to Storytime at Nana's House. So good to have you here once again. What I want to share right now, it is simply called Bendin's Birthday Surprise. Let's read. Bendin looked at the calendar. Today was the little bear's birthday. Woohoo! None of his friends had mentioned his birthday, but he suspected that they were planning a surprise party for him. He ventured out to discover more about his birthday surprise. Soon, he came upon Old Blue. What are you up to today? The old hound dog asked Bendit. Mm, nothing special. Benton replied, not wanting to mention his birthday. And you? Um, I'm going fishing, Old Blue replied. Benton was disappointed. Blue would have been invited to his party if there was one. Happy fishing, Benton wished him as they parted ways. Soon, Benton saw his cat friend, Fluffy. How perfect! to see you, said Fluffy. Oh, said Benden, hopeful. Yes, have you seen any birds? Fluffy replied. It's a perfect day for bird watching, she said. No, I haven't, Benden said disappointed once again. Have a perfect day then, Fluffy said and went on her way. It seemed like everyone had forgotten that it was Benton's birthday. He decided to go home and celebrate his birthday on his own. Later, Benton's little pal Robert excuse me, Rosie, landed on his windowsill. Maybe she had come to take him to his party. And then, would you please help me move my nest? Rosie asked. Oh, Benden replied, disappointed. Sure. Benden went out with Rosie. He picked the nest, holding her two babies out of the tree and followed Rosie to the new location. Benden was surprised to see his friends gathered there. Happy birthday, they said. My babies didn't want to miss your party, Rosie said. Happy birthday, Blue said, handing him a gift-wrapped fish. I had to find Rosie to remind her to bring you to the party, Fluffy said. Thank you, everyone, Benton replied. This is the best birthday surprise ever. You see all that? And that banner says, Happy Birthday, Benton. And that's the end. Da, da, da. Oh my goodness, that was a sweet story. It was very short, but it was very sweet. And I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed sharing it with you. It's time for me to go, my friends. But before I do, I just want to encourage you to continue letting your light shine by being kind. Because you see, when you and I share and show kindness to others, not only is it one way we can all let our light shine a little brighter, but your kindness can actually turn someone's eh, not-so-good day into a better one, or even better. Your kindness could actually impact someone for the rest of their lives, and that, my friend, would be so amazing. Thanks again for stopping by. Until next time, take care of yourselves. God bless you. And always, always, always remember that this Nana loves you. Take care.